Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I wanted to come online and I wanted to share this story um, that I was, I, I looked on Facebook, I just copied it and I edited it a little bit. It was, um, some of it didn't need to be put in there. Um, but please, uh, this is my, my, my uh, Facebook, so please add my Facebook. I mainly post on there as well. Um, it's Dennis James Zimindanis. Um, but this is a great story, and I want to uh, share this with you. It just hit me, and I'm sure it will hit you as well. Um, it, I just felt the Holy Spirit, and I could feel Him again right now, just moving throughout my body and giving me the tingly, ting, tingles, and my hair just sticking up. Um, but, um, but, um, tss, um, but two guys were drinking at a bar. As they were drinking, they started arguing. One pounced on his friend and started beating him up. After a long beating, he realized that his friend was no longer breathing. He was already died. He already died instantly. Then the guy started running away with his, with his shirt covered in blood. Those who were watching the fight started chasing after him. He ran into a house and he ran to a, the house of a Christian man, knocked and said, "Can you please hide me? I have killed a person." And people are chasing after me, the Christian man replied. But where am I going to hide you in, one, in my one-room apartment? The murderer replied, there is no time for, to waste here. Just think of anywhere you can hide me. After some thinking, the Christian man said to the murderer, Give me your shirt and take my shirt. But remember to keep my shirt clean. They exchanged their shirts. Then as soon as the Christian man opened the door, people started beating him and he was badly injured. Such as, such that he was taken to the police station. From the police station, the, the case was taken to court. The man was found guilty of murder. He was sentenced to death. He was sentenced to death. Um, the real murderer was safe. Uh, the mirror murderer was safe at home but was feeling so guilty that he ran to the court and said can you please release that innocent man i am i am the real murderer the judge replied unfortunately it's too late you see the man has, has already been hanged the real murderer ran to the police grounds where the man was hanged and for sure he found him dead hanging he knelt down and cried his eyes out and said to himself you paid for my crime he remembered the Christian's man man's last words to him, "Keep my shirt clean." That's how the real murderer repented and became a Christian. Moral of the story is, this is exactly what Jesus did for us. He died for the crimes which he did not commit on the cross of Calvary. Now, if you are thankful for what Jesus did for you, appreciate him by just sharing this story. I was arrested for you. I was whipped for you. I was spat on for you. I was slain for you. I was humili humiliated for you. I was nailed to the cross for you. I died for you. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today and be saved from the sorrowful, wicked world of this sorrowful, wicked world of sin. You know, and then I just said, can you just type a thank you, Jesus? Um, guys, this is just a, ma a great story, but I wanted to share it with you and please share this message. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Ciao.